Hello everyone, welcome back to the parallel programming in C Sharp. In this video, we will discuss about the parallel invoke method in the C Sharp. So parallel invoke method is generally we use to call the multiple methods in the parallel way. So the parallel invoke method in C Sharp is one of the most frequently used static method of the parallel class. This parallel invoke method is used to launch multiple tasks that are going to be executed in parallel. The parallel invoke method is used to execute the number of the operation in the parallel way. For an example, in your class, if you are having multiple methods and you want to execute all those methods in the parallel way, then we can go with the parallel invoke method. So let's understand it with an example. So in this Visual Studio, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a one method and that method name I'm going to say like print number and this will take a variable called number and inside this one what I'm going to do I'm going to print a number so let's print it and here I will say the number is and so here I will print this number now this method we will call from our invoke method so from the invoke method and like we can call the method we can call any anonymous method or even we can call the lambda expression also so let's understand it with an example so let's call it parallel so parallel dot invoke and it take the action so here you will see it is taking the action so let's create like call the method so first method i'm going to call is the method which we have created so let's call those method so now first method is i'm going to call this print number and it take the one and again even i can call the same method also so let's call what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this one so this is the way we can call the multiple method in the parallel way now the another thing is like instead of calling this method what if i want to call the delegate so that also we can do delegate in the sense the anonymous method so let's call it so in that manner what we can do we can uh, write anything so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this one and i will say here like anonymous method so this i can call so this manner also we can call even like i can call the lambda expression as well so for calling a lambda expression we have to write is so here we have to write so inside this one we can call now let's call it and paste it here and we can say lambda method and thread is this so now at point of this time if i will run this application so what it will print it basically will run all these method in the parallel way and we can see now first it is printing the lambda and then anonymous method and the number and then another method so like it does not give the guarantee to execute in sequential manner it, since we are using the parallel programming so like the print like calling of the method is always the parallel way now currently this is the sequence so next time if i will run this application the sequence may change as per our requirement and we can see like currently it is working in that way so it may change also as per our requirement so this the this is the way we can perform the operation so now what if i will write thread dot slip and here if i will write 10 and now if i will run this application so in that manner what will happen it will take a pause of the like on this method and according to that will print it. so this is the way like we can call the multiple method as per our requirement and if we want to call the multiple method in in the like parallel way then we can do the same now next thing this invoke method also has the optional like basically optional parameter according to that one what we can do is basically we can call the number of the thread should execute the like this method like i want like only two methods should use to call this one so that we can do using this so let's call it 
so let's first write here new because we have to create the object and here let's so now if i will give here like max degree of parallelism here if i will assign as a three and now what i'm saying like uh, three threads should work to perform this operation so when i will run this application we will see the output as expected so this we can see now currently three thread are working here so like this is working as we work uh, like seeing the option parallel option for the for loop and the for each loop so this is the way we use the invoke method means if we want to like execute multiple methods in the parallel way then we can go with the parallel dot invoke method so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you